Okay, what I'm doing today, uh, this is my fixture plate or a set of plate. I made it, uh, boy, about 15 years ago. And I recently, recently, like two days ago, took it down to a machine shop that had a machine with a 48 inch travel and had them re uh, uh, flatten it out, recut it. They had to take about 15 thousandths off both sides to get it nice and flat. I had originally done it on my mill by turning it and doing all this stuff, so it wasn't as flat as I'd like. It was accurate as far as X and Y, but it wasn't accurate as far as um, the level. So that's all done. And now what I'm doing, originally went through, you can see that there's a bunch of uh, half inch tapped holes here for holding stuff down. Now I'm going to go through and ream the top of each hole so I can put in a pin so I can use that as my guide for when I'm lining stuff up because the pin is much more accurate than the threads on a bolt. So I'm going to go through now and just ream the top half inch of every hole. This plate is a half inch thick. So let's see what I can do here. Now instead of having the uh, CNC machine do the up uh, the Z axis axis. I'm going to do it with the quill here because I can um, better gauge the chips that are coming out and clean those off and try and get a little uh, smoother finish. So I'll have the machine do the X and Y and I'll do the Z with the quill. My quill has a digital readout so I'm going to zero it the top here so I know how deep I'm going each time. I'm just going to use the old WD-40 as a cutting fluid. That's it. Same old thing, 120 times. I finished all the holes, creaming them, and now I'm just going through and lightly chamfering them. Now, I'm liking the fit of these pins. You know, I might have a few tenths movement at the top, but they all the holes are fitting pretty snug. 
like that one. It's a little vacuum when you put it, pull it out. So I'm liking that. This is coming out really well. Okay, my thought process to um, align this for the second set of holes <clears throat> is I've got this, I loosened the hold downs on the plate and I've got it lined up with this pin. I'm then going to put an edge um, or a uh, gauge along this back edge. That's how I lined up the first set of holes. So I'll set this for zero and then I'll run the table down and score it up and see how that, that takes me. So right now I'm perfect. Uh, it's within half, well, whatever tolerance that is, half a thou or so. so. I think that should be good. Okay, I've got the indicator set at zero behind this point. So I'm going to run it down. Wow. That's pretty damn accurate. I'm going to leave that. Just tighten this down, see if it moves. Let's go back. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's pretty darn close to being square. Okay, what I've done is I've turned this plate 180 degrees. I stuck in two alignment pins and I put a straight edge on it. And I'm using that straight edge to align the plate again. And then I'll go and do these back two rows that still need to be done. And right now I've got it uh, pretty close to pretty close to zero. Let's see here. So all that needle bouncing around is the scrape uh, scraping on the other side so got it within a tenth I think so we'll uh, we'll leave it at that uh, so you can see here I put a gauge block between the indicator and the straight edge because of the scraping has uh, dips and doodles in it and I went ahead and ran it all the way across and I am getting within one tenth of being square so I'm good with that Okay, finished with the plate, and what I've done is I put some pins in here, ran it back and forth with a gauge block behind the gauge, the indicator, and I'm within one tenth, and I have more gib uh, travel than that. If I really honk on the table, I can get a couple tenths. That's as close as I'm going to get to this fixture plate parallel to the axis of travel. I'm real happy with it. All right. Now after I use the uh, reamer and ream these holes, it buggered up the ends of the threads that are in there. So I ran a tap back through from the backside forward. And what that did is it got a little bit where the tap may have touched the reamed hole made it a little hard for the pins to slide in. So what I'm doing 
what I did. I put the tap, the reamer, in the hole. You can see the uh, little bit of shavings I'm getting. And then that makes sure that, yeah, see, there's, there's no wiggle in that. It just cleans it up from that threads. Okay, we'll see how flat this table is over 16 inches. That's not bad. Well, this is the last update of this fixture plate. I got these plugs from John Saunders, C uh, NYC CNC, um, instead of those plastic um, plugs I had, the threaded ones, and these go in a lot easier. The only issue, and it's not really issue, is apparently on the plates they make, they have a 3 8 deep hole where mine is a half inch deep. And so what happens when you try and get the plug out, it falls down to the bottom of the hole. Well, then you just got to stab it and you can catch it and turn it sideways and pull it out. So it, it still comes out. Um, but if you're not careful, you know, you can jam them down in there. But they seem uh, really nice, a lot easier to get in and out than the threaded plugs I had.